Hey, welcome, so that was the result in some games of the RTX 4090 from Nvidia, the MSI Supreme X model. The results compared to the last gen top tier GPU, the RTX 3090, are completely crazy, mostly in 4K. You can see we reach almost double frame rates, in dying light 2 even 3 times better. Please also consider that I'm running this card on a DDR4 system with a Ryzen 9 5900X, which first sounds great, but in 1080p and even in 1440p, my CPU is a bottleneck. You can clearly see it in some games that at 2's resolution the GPU is not running as its full potential. Another point that is really impressive is the power draw of these cards. The 4090 used just a little bit more power compared to the 3090, but we almost doubled the performance in 4K. So, as a 3090, a 800 watt power supply is recommended for the 4090. So, in my opinion, it's not the new power supply you need, but maybe the last gen CPU or an upgrade of your monitor if you consider buying the 4090. Because this card is definitely destined for those who play in 4K 144Hz or at least if you have a 1440p 240Hz refresh rates for competitive games. So, is this card overkill for gaming? Yes, completely overkill. Nowadays, gamers play in average on a 1080p or 1440p with 144Hz refresh rates monitor, which with the 30 series cards was almost enough. Now, the RTX 4090 make every monitor below 1440p 240Hz useless. So, if you don't use at least a 1440p 240Hz or a 4K 144Hz gaming monitor, no need to upgrade. Interesting will be the 4080 or the 4070 with DLSS 3.0 can be a better alternative. Next year, we will see more and more 1440p 360Hz monitor and 4K 240Hz. Even 1080p 500Hz monitor will also be released. Then maybe the 40 series cards with DLSS 3.0 can be a good choice. So for me, this 4090 RTX GPU can be good for those who run a high refresh rate monitor at least 1440p or 4K or plan to upgrade their monitor soon. Or for those who are really passionate and can afford this high price because for 2000 euros or dollars for some cards is almost the price of a complete PC. I probably plan when the DLSS 3.0 are available on more games to check the latency with different monitor resolution and refresh rates. So that is for today, I hope you enjoyed this review, if so please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe in order to not miss the next one and if you want follow me on Twitter, thank you for watching and see you next time, bye bye.